Hi, I'm Mitchell. I like sports. I like music. I like movies. I like ice cream on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I like girls. <laughs> My mum said I look like Adam Sandler. And who am I? My mum. Mum? Yeah, I'm mum. I'm Sue. And Mitchell's my baby boy. He's 20 years of age. And uh, he's a special boy. He was born prematurely and he suffered a bit of brain damage as a result of that. And so he's, he's been going to all sorts of special schools or people have been looking after him especially well all his life. And this is his last year of school. Right, so you can attach the hose. Yeah. And then what do you do? What do you do first? Turn them. You want to keep the water away from the electricity, right? Yes. Right. Mitchell was in the uh, NICU in intensive care at National Women's for at least 10 weeks. It was all a shock to go down that path and deal with a very preemie little boy. And then once you got home and, and time went on, started to realise that actually things weren't all OK with him and came to the conclusion that he had probably suffered some brain damage at birth. And so we started going down that whole route. Slowly over there. Don't go out into the driveway, just stay on our driveway. I really raised Mitchell on, on my own since he was about three years of age. Um, his father was an absent father, uh, pretty much from that time. Well, that's yours. Open it? Yeah, sure. It's information about... It's their program for the next term, isn't next it? Next term, yeah. Cool, yeah. There'll be lots of camps and activities on there that we can talk about later. Yeah. Tell them all about the training gear you've got there, Mitchell. Uh, sitting bag, gloves, mittens, shampoo. <laughs> um, what do you call those things? Thermals. Mitchell spends a lot of his time in the outdoors, fishing, Camping, tramping, sailing. What are you doing next weekend? Um, be at camp still. What sort of camp? The, the, the trammy one. You're going to climb a mountain this time? Yeah. Up in the snow, in the cold. Are you ready for this? Are you yeah. fit enough? Yes. My mum's a policewoman. She goes tickets out in the cop car in there and stops people on the roadside speeding. Goes to other scenes, motorbike accidents and yeah. I lost my dad, I'm very, very sad. How did you lose him? Cancer. Cancer? And he and what happened? He died. He died. Yeah. Just not not even two years ago, eh? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Would you like to live by yourself or in a flat with other people? But the same house. Or, or a house with other people. Well, living here. Oh, my house. Yeah. With other people. Yeah. Where would I go? <laughs> in the lounge. In the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Mitch, when you pick up the wood, just get some small stuff and take it around and stack it where there's a, um, a hole under the ramp there. So it's next year's wood, not this year's wood. Well, I didn't actually believe he was going to come home. And the day that they said, yeah, he will be coming home, I, I think I came home and actually started to prepare a room for him. I just failed to believe that he was actually going to get well enough to ever do it. I probably struggled to love him before that. I mean, I loved him, but I didn't want to give him my love. Yo, good old Becky. Yeah. What he can do is phenomenal. He's been vacuuming the house since he was about five years of age and you couldn't stop him because he got up early in the morning and did it while we were all asleep. He's been mowing the lawn since he was nine. He does voluntary work with uh, two intermediate school caretakers and he also does work experience through his own school. He still needs supervising, but he's keen and he is certainly a worker. Good exercise, eh? It's like mowing the lawns, really. Get the money for it. A lot of adults have understood where he's coming from and given him a lot of leeway. Children, no, children can be very cruel, as we all know, and he, all he's really ever wanted was to have his own friends. I think he was bullied to a great extent at school when he wasn't in the protection of his classroom with his teachers. So I think all he's ever wanted was to be accepted, but he found that that was very difficult as a young person. He's always got on really well with adults, and now that he's becoming an adult, I think he'll start finding some friends. He's, he's got a couple of friends from the organisation he does a lot of activities with, Recreate. It's Tom and Jamie. Hello, Tom. What are you doing? Hey, your computer, Tom. What are you doing? What videos? <laughs> Just, Justin Bieber, eh? 
Mitchell has a global developmental delay, so we just call it Mitchell syndrome. He has difficulty with fine motor skills. He has difficulty doing a button up. Just cognitive ability, um, he's a bit limited and he, he certainly struggles with reading and writing. He can write down individual letters or individual numbers, but he can't write down a word. And if you give him instructions, it's best to just give a two-part instruction or a one-part instruction, not four things. Hey, Tom. Hi, Mitchell. With Tom, he gets to do a lot of activities with hey, Tom Mitchell, and Tom's hey, dad. You're right. What's we up to? Nothing much, right? Making yeah. you, you guys hungry? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know what to do, Tom. Did you watch the rugby last night, Mitch? Yep. Pretty good, eh? Good game, man. Didn't it? Yep. Tom, what did the All Blacks do to the Aussies? Beat them. No, they did more than beat them. What did they do? <laughs> they smashed them, man, didn't they? Yep. So, Mitch, are you all set for the weekend, for next yeah. weekend? Climbing that mountain? Who's going to get up there first? Me. Yeah? <laughs> Tom will play it. <laughs> they started school together at intermediate school, and they've sort of mixed socially and mixed scholastically and mixed in their sporting activities. They both play Special Olympics basketball together. And more often than not, Tom and Mitchell are away on these weekends together, so they make the most of that opportunity whenever it comes along. In terms of his outdoor interest and his physical capabilities, he, he would match his peer group, certainly on a push bike, certainly tramping and climbing, he would be equal to his peer group. But when we first started sending Tom away on Recreate Weekends, probably five, six years ago, we were always at the ready to go and pick him up because we didn't think that he would actually stay away. But now he can't wait to go. You know, the, the talk all this week will be, when are we going, Dad? When are we going? Yeah, right, that's cool. Tom is a really good friend. He's cool. We do lots of things together. We play basketball together. He's really good at sports, but I do all the talking. Sometimes we fight. After that, we're friends again, man. Tom likes girls, man. He likes any girls. What else do you like doing, Tom? Huh? Play. What else, Tom? Huh? What else, mate? Well, Touch rugby? No. Come out to the left. We're in the Centre. I met Russell Grammer. Oh. 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 We do art there. We do computering. Sport. All the teachers are good there. My oh, class is cool, man. Lots of friends, man. Here's my classroom. It's not very really fun. Uh, this one. That's your seat? Yeah. And are there any of your pictures on the wall here? Uh, no. There's mine there, see there? So, yeah. Oh, mine's right there. Yep. Is this is yours, Tom? That's Look. Tom's. Look. Tom, of that. This one here. I do that one there. Oh, cool. There's a soccer field. Oh, cool. Uh, I should show them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tree and meat. <laughs> Tom, made, Tom made that tree. And this too. Tom made that tree. And the flags. That's Tom's fire extinguisher. <laughs> I like all the teachers. You like the teachers? Yeah. Good for you guys. And are you good boys or bad boys? Good, good boys. boys. <laughs> That's Tom's garden. <laughs> There's Tom's picnic table for him. <laughs> Is that Tom? The picnic table. <laughs> Tom's girlfriend's there. <laughs> yeah. And Tom does the lawns, eh, Tom? Yeah. Tom does the lawns around here. That's Tom's picture there, that blue thing. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's about it. Recreate's really good for the young people because they're finally away from their parents. And of course, we've probably molly them a lot more than, than other parents have or we did for our other children. So uh, it is really good to untie the apron strings and let these kids get out and be themselves. And I think Recreate allow them to be themselves and have quite a lot of fun. Recreate is, is a great smaller charity. It's got a purpose to provide life-changing experiences for youth with disabilities. So we have a social stream, a recreation stream, an adventure stream. We have about 250 different 
individually tailored types of programs. There's something there for everyone. We've got Mitchell and Tom, who I have worked with for a number of years. They definitely are the life of the party. They have got lots of energy. Uh, Tom and Mitchell, at the beginning of the year, we did the Targo Rail Trail, and they were just streaks ahead of us. They've just got great amount of energy and will um, definitely be ones who, to look forward to getting up the top of the mountain. Jump in too. Let him back. Ready? Zach, bring it. So, so Tom, what, what did you think of the snow trip? Ah, uh, uh, this guy's got you guys are funny, man. Trip. I like Justin Bieber. Tom's a funny guy. <laughs> Tom's a captain. I'm going to man. I need to grind tonight. The kitchen. <laughs> Wait, with a bit of a go. <laughs> That's a man over here. The man over here? The oh, dudes. No, no, look, look at the bitch. She's yeah. from Germany, he's what? from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. And, and the can too. <laughs> this is where we keep all the munchies. <laughs> hey, Chris. What's up, bro? Oh, sorry, man. My hands are wet. Oh, uh, yes. Should we do some acting? Uh, do been, some hip hop moves. Uh, been known to do that with uh, uh, people. Uh, Should we do some hip hop moves, Chris? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Solid, man! Oh, this guy's a man right here. We're gonna learn moves off him. Chris, he's the man. He's good at this. He knows what he's doing. He's the man. Chris is good because he's like a crystal. Oh! <laughs> So we do it, y'all. So today we were up on the mountain doing some training. Right. Welcome to our mountain. Big day for us tomorrow, and today's a training day. Who can remember the name of this mountain? Wapehu. Yeah, Mount Wapehu. The biggest, tallest mountain in the North Island. And our mission is to see how close we can get to the summit. Mm. So today's all about training. Cool. Shall we go? Yeah. Sweet, man. Yep. Walk yep. in single file behind Tim. Watch out for the girls. <laughs> awesome. Oh, hot. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. We had our two instructors, Tim and Tim, uh, take the guys on a, a training oh, excursion. And that was to um, give them some skills around using an ice pick and also some understanding about using crampons safely as well. So both these two um, bits of equipment, our guys would have never have used before. And they just picked it up, piece of cake. Anyone feeling a bit warm? Yeah. Yeah? Pop all your ice axes down here. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I reckon crap. you want to whip nah. off all your jackets, probably down to one thermal layer. So are you really hot? Just warm. Warm. So I reckon you want to pop your oh. <laughs> Yeah. What you're about to learn in the next 10 minutes is going to be the most key thing you need to know. <laughs> so we're about to learn some real key things about walking in the snow on our boots. I can dig the edges of my boots into the slope and make steps like this. Like we're gonna go up. <laughs> Use the edges of your boots into the, the slope. What the heck? See how your foot's flat, whereas my foot's digging into the slope. Down. 
Oh, 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 it's so slippery. Use those edges. Oh. <laughs> Some of our guys, it was their first time to the snow. Some of them just couldn't help themselves, wanting to throw snowballs. So um, right throughout the training session, we had snowballs being thrown at the instructors. And so by the end of it, we're like, all right, let's just let them get their snowballing fights out of their system. So we let them loose and they went crazy and grabbed snowballs and um, it was a bit of a mess. Snowball fight. Oh, Tom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, So tomorrow we've got our climb and overall the group are looking pretty confident. It's more about the, the mental endurance and also sometimes a bit of the physical strength and endurance to be able to get up that mountain. <laughs> I've seen Mitch change quite a bit on our programs, mostly just in him becoming just a lot more mature, uh, just becoming a real awesome young man. I think he really enjoys uh, some good blokey boy hangout. These guys are crazy when they get going. Crazy guys. They're a good bunch of people though. Tom and Mitchell are always fighting a bit because they're best friends. That's what best friends do, I fight with my best friend. Ben, some more sticks for you, mate. Right now. Go get it. No. No, but I got my thumb. Have you, have you made a push fire in your life? Yeah. At Recreate, we really want to encourage young people to become independent, responsible for themselves, instead of having to be like a maybe a, a parent or teacher figure over them saying that they can't do that or stop doing that or, um, you know, that's too dangerous. We want to ensure that there are elements of risk, but we measure that risk and we also want to ensure that everyone still is safe and having, but just ultimately having a good time and feeling like a normal young person who's out with their friends having fun. Turkey. Mitch, Tom, well, come pull this, help me pull this. Well, I've done a good job of it, eh? I haven't found a girlfriend yet, but I'd enjoy, love to enjoy and have one, a partner to share in my life. And a girl that's understanding, enjoyable to be with, and who would take me for who I, was at, who I am. Ready? Ready. Oh. You got it, Tom? Yeah. Ready, boys? Take the green stuff off. Nah. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, 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 yeah, it's more this stuff. It's more this stuff. They're fire! 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 Anyone want to touch a nice now? Fire! That's awesome! Oh, that's a wreck. Do you want to tell? Yeah, we're preparing enchiladas and I've just like ground the mints and add beans to them. This is my first time by doing it, so this time we are going to put Firing and also my knees will hit it. My body can't, can't hit it. You want to say a little karakia before we eat? Just a nice little wee. Just thanks for the food and for the Thank God for the activities we face tomorrow. We've been training for it. God bless this group and I hope you like this meal? I mean. Amen. Amen. How, how, how's the battery going in there? Yeah. 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 What would you guys eat if you ran out of food on the mountain? Right. Someone. Uh, mm. rat. I know. I know. Eat somebody that I like. Eat like rat. Horse poo. <laughs> just wait for a scare to come down the mountain and just like trip him up and just like eat, eat a scare yeah. that comes down the mountain. A bow and arrow. Do that. 
you for now. It's, it's, uh, dear baby. Like birds and chickens. Stop. Someone's a skin. Let someone's head. Tom's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna loop over there and knock on the door. <laughs> Tom is crying at camp because he misses home. Why are you crying? Why? Uh, my mummy and dad. <laughs> like the fire? Yeah. Well, that's like. I like girls here. The dessert? Yeah. What? I, I like girls here. <laughs> Get it? Huh? I call security on you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. Let's take it. Here you go. Here you go. He enjoys Recreate, he feels safe with Recreate. He's got Tom and Kiyoki and Jack. And uh, boys will be boys, I guess. Um, haven't had any reports yet. How long have they been gone? Um, but yeah, I, I know there's a bit of mischief goes on at camp and, and I, I hope Recreate staff are, are letting them have a little bit of leeway, but also hope they're uh, keeping an, an eye on them so nothing becomes too criminal. It's full of a little bit of a trepidation because he didn't really know that he was going to be climbing a mountain. He's starting to notice Kyoki um, struggling on this climb. Okay, Turkey. Why? Give him a bit of space. Oh no, I'm so Help! Oh, the calves are getting a bit sore. Yeah. So yeah, have to go back down. Pretty hard. Couldn't make it up there with the rest of the group. But oh well. Maybe next time. Sweet. Gonna catch our breath here for 50 seconds. And then we're going to start walking again. Oh, oh. Climbing mountain is hard work. Tom never got tired. I'm good at walking because I mow lawns. Lots of lawns. When I leave school, I want to mow lawns all the time. There's a clutch in there, Nicola. Oh, God. My legs are aching. I'm sick of this. It's hard thing I've done in my life. You're doing awesome. Ah, 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 I'm jogging here tonight. And which way is your picnic to be gone? Yeah. How many minutes to get that to Tottenham or not? An hour or so. Oh. He's right there. You can't quite see the top. He's right there. Right on top. We can see a peak. There's Perry Tito Tonga. But that one's down to the left a bit more, so we can't quite see it. Not a man, man. Not a man, man. Not a man, man. I think we're going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Where is it? Up there? Yep. Yeah. Our legs get seized up with the pain inside you. Booze like fire. Tom was all right. He was a bit puffing. <laughs> hot, it was really hot in the gear. Feel like a dog, man. I've got Tom Power behind me. This is awesome. Ah. Is it hot? Is it hot? Yes. Chris, Chris is definitely battling on with with 
uh, Sony, and we're just encouraging him in his climb and just pushing him to get up to the top. Chris is really um, feeling it here that he is struggling and possibly going through a bit of, you know, a bit of a mental process of wondering can he go on and can he get to the top despite the pain that he's in with his knee. But it's great to see that Chris is so determined and he is pushing on to get to the top. Man, get out, chop up here. Uh, there's a little gap. Hang in my footsteps behind me, Tom. You can see where those four skiers are walking towards the sky. Yeah. Thanks, Will. We've got to get Oh, God. There's snow everywhere, man. Didn't expect this, man. So about half an hour from the top, you're definitely starting to notice some of our guys really starting to feel the effects of this day of climbing. It's not far now. I'm gonna make it. I can do hard stuff. They've been walking for about three hours now, and yeah, they are looking pretty tired, feeling sore, and let's hope they can push on to the top. Oh my god. Huh? One leg of the four ass! 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 I'll do Mount Cook next year, <laughs> and then I'll do Everest. <laughs> yep. Tom will come as well, he'll make it to the top. And wave that flag at the top, man.